With his trademark suspenders and rolled up shirt sleeves, Larry King was a legend of broadcast. A career that spanned nearly a half century, a fixture not only in America, but around the world. Larry King died on Saturday at a hospital in Los Angeles. Cause of death unknown. He had been hospitalized earlier this month from COVID-19. King conducted nearly 50,000 interviews over his career with presidents and heads of states, celebrities, you name it, he interviewed them. Earning himself the nickname of the King of Talk and countless awards and recognitions, like this Lifetime Achievement Award bestowed on him in 2011. I'm very proud to have uh, I've been in this business, still in, going to be doing other things. I can't leave it. I couldn't retire. Born in New York to Orthodox Jewish parents from Eastern Europe, King started in radio before moving to television. It was Larry King Live, his trademark interview program on CNN from 1985 to 2010, where he often landed interviews with world leaders who rarely spoke to Western media news outlets. Our special guest tonight is Brother Leader Muammar Gaddafi, the leader of the nation of Libya. Well, you used to be called Colonel. What changed from Colonel to Brother Leader? <laughs> what sort of relationship do you want now with the United States? Saludo. Larry. First of Larry all, the King. Hi, Larry. King. Larry King or Larry the King? King. Anyway, you're The like. King. <laughs> King, who married eight times, faced numerous health challenges later in life. But as he aged and his career wound down, he was able to remain relevant. RT has never. He never fully retired, working the final years of his life hosting an interview program on Russia government backed RT, an English news channel. Larry King has died. He was. On Saturday, after his death was announced, the scene at his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and sadness by his passing by those who had listened to his voice for so many years. I knew the star, star was here, so because I used to listen to him up in the Bering Sea when I was a crab fisherman. Celebrities too, Barbara Streisand tweeting in part, he was one of a kind, rest in peace. Ellen DeGeneres, I can think of few people in the world of television more iconic than Larry King. I don't know what to say except to you, my audience, thank you. And instead of goodbye, how about so long? Larry King was 87 years old. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera.